What's up, people? Hold up. What's good, everybody? MC Aggie, same motherfucking James, bitches! And I'm back once again with my daily video vlog number 80. Because I don't give a fuck. Anywho, listen up. I got some bad news. Oh, y'all, I got my hair cut. See? I got it sitting right now. And this is my favorite head wrap just because it's so comfortable. But anyway, it's sitting right now. It's drying. That's why I'm not showing it. But anywho, um, I got some news about Yellowstone. Let me take a drag. Hold up. I know I just took one. Just hold on. All right, look. Yellowstone is now closed to all tourists and anybody who's anybody. Because the roads are melting, bitches. Because the motherfucking Caldera, Caldera, Caldera is fucking hot as shit. And it's fucking heating up the fucking roads and shit, melting them. Now, there's this road that leads to Yellowstone. Um, that's going all over the internet and shit. Um, but that's not the thing. The thing about this road is that's not really the real reason why um, some people believe Yellowstone is actually closed right now. It's not because the roads are melting. But because this bitch is going to erupt. And, and there's a little bit more to it than what they're revealing to the public. Um, the thing with the live camera feeds of Old Faithful and all the other geysers is that they're not showing you the real time. They're, show, they're overlapping the videos. So all that you're seeing is the same motherfucking thing over and over and over again. They're not showing you what the fuck's really going on. For all we fucking know, there could be lava coming up out of the fucking, you know, ground over there called Daryl, whatever the fuck. But they're not going to tell us that because there would be mass chaos right now. So, you know, one thing that they cannot um, necessarily hide from people um, being that this is a very large um, tourist attraction area is the fact that the roads are melting. So they have to attend to that immediately. Attend to it meaning they have to, to somebody got to say something about that to the public before people start freaking the fuck out, right? Um, now, scientists are saying, they are willing to admit that the roads are melting, not because of the heat, bitches. I know some people are gonna be like, well, it is hot. No, bitches. Look outside your street. Do you see your road motherfucking melting because of the heat? No, hell no. There are scientists that are admitting and and you know and are coming out right now saying that it is because of the caldera. It is because the heat and the gases that are um, coming out of this caldera, this fucking super volcano, are so great. That it's, it's starting to melt the roads, bitches. So, um, all them bison and birds and shit that was fleeing before, y'all may think they was just going to some other habitat. Nah, no, motherfuckers, them bitches was like, I'm out. Y'all can say if you want to, but I'm out. Because they fucking know. They can sense that shit. Let me take a drive before I get all out of hand and shit. So... You know, I think there's a lot going on at Yellowstone that we don't, like, as I do this vlog, that we have no idea about. Like I said, there could be lava coming out. They're not going to fucking let us know. They're not going to fucking let us know because there would be mass motherfucking chaos if they let us know. So, um, that's the news on Yellowstone. You know, it's a pretty big thing because Yellowstone brings in over three million dollars a year um, over tourism and so for them to close the park for them to close it and not make no money is a big thing do you think they honestly close in the park bitches because the roads is melting do you think that they would honestly 
give up all this money in a season where it's a great time to go visit Yellowstone? Do you honestly think that they would give up all this money over some motherfucking melted roads, bitches? They would make routes so you could come still see some shit. They're closing that shit because they know some shit's about to fucking go down. And they don't want the public to know about it. But bitches, by y'all closing it, that tells us a lot. It tells me a lot. It lets me know there's something else going on besides these motherfucking roads melting and shit. Can I get a fucking amen? I don't need y'all's amen, damn it, because I know I'm speaking the truth. Damn it, let me take a drag. Hold up. So, let me calm down. Let me bring my stuff down. So, I just thought some of y'all may need to be aware of this. Um... And some of people, some people who are following Yellowstone on a regular, da- on a daily fucking basis, like I do, have been told from some of their contacts within Yellowstone, whose name, for obvious reasons, they have withheld, um, are saying that that road that they're showing on YouTube and all over the internet, that's melting from Yellowstone or leads into Yellowstone or some shit, that's really not the road. So that's really not even the case. Um, so I thought I would make y'all aware of this, um, because it's kind of serious, okay? So, I'm going to move on for right now. Um, I have to work this evening, so I'm going to keep a close eye out on any information I get about Yellowstone, and if I have anything else come up about Yellowstone, bitches, I will do another vlog this evening when I get home, um, but I wanted to um, let y'all know about something else, okay? So moving on. So there's this man, okay? And he lives in my neighborhood. Um, he's this white man. Not that race has got anything to do with the bitches, so keep it moving. But um, I'm just trying to give y'all details, okay? He's this white man. And he's like in his 50s. And he lives like to the left of my house. And anywho, so... He walks with this little limp, and he he walks with like a cane, and um, he wears this chain. You know how people can have like long chains that are attached to their wallet that they keep in the pocket of their pants, and the chain hangs low. So it's one of those chains, right? Now I call him the Chain Man, bitches. Let me tell y'all about the Chain Man. So the chain man, like I said, he's like this older man. He's like in his 50s or something. Walks with a limp. Has this motherfucking loud ass chain. So anywho. I'm not exaggerating when I tell y'all this, people. But he'll be like walking. Like he's gonna walk past my house. Take a right. Go around the back. You know what I'm saying? You know. So he'll walk. He'll start to walk in. But he walks real slow. And it would take him a good 30 minutes to be able to walk from where he walking from, past my house, to turn the corner, take a right, and walk back to past my house again. Bitches, I will see this motherfucker walk past my house, and I'm not exaggerating, y'all. Within two minutes, I'm seeing him again in front of my house. And there's no way in hell possible that he could do it, that he could make it around that far, I mean, that quickly. And I call him the chain man because I can hear this chain as is is I don't really know if it's small because that's why I say as small as it is, but I don't really even know if it's that small of a chain. But bitches, this shit is loud as hell. And he's got like this eerie look to him. And I'm not judging nobody, because sometimes I look a little eerie too. But they this ain't about me, bitches. It's about the motherfucking chain man. So like I said, I call him Chain Man, and I don't see him walking past my house every night. But I can hear him when he do start to come. And bitches, I'm going to tell y'all right now. This motherfucker Chain Man, and yes, bitches, I cuss a lot. Because I had somebody comment on one of my vlogs about how much I cuss. Motherfucker, if you don't like my cussing, turn the motherfucking channel. This is 20 motherfucking 14 bitches about to be 2015. Everybody in the mother cuss. Babies even cuss in their own little baby language. Everybody cusses. Okay, if you don't like it, don't watch me. I don't give a fuck shit. Moving the fuck on. I'm on, woo, I'm on a whole nother level today, people. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Yes, I smoke cigarettes too. Damn it, yes I do. And if you don't like my smoking, turn the motherfucking channel.
channel. Bottom line, people, I don't give a fuck. Bottom line. Let me calm the fuck down. Jesus. Okay, so. It's been cloudy on my fucking day. Oh, back to the chain, man. So, y'all, I'm telling y'all. I don't know, but if I see that motherfucking chain man, and he ain't got no twin, so don't be sitting there thinking, oh, well, maybe he got a twin. Really? Wearing the same motherfucking thing every time I see this chain man. Walking with the same limp, the same motherfucking chain, ain't no way in hell. You cannot tell me. So, I'm a little concerned about this chain man, bitches, because, um... Let him try to get calm and try to walk up on my porch because I'm telling you now, bitches, it's going to be a wrap. You will see the key shit come out up in me because I, I'm not putting up with that shit. Uh-uh, motherfucker, no damn, uh-uh. And I don't know what the fucking no damn is, but fuck it, I got my point across. I'm over it. So, anywho, it's been cloudy all day, y'all. Y'all know I love my cloudy days. I'm back at the crib. I had to go take care of some business this morning. But I'm back at the crib, got my Panera's coffee for the morning, and um, I'm sitting here chilling. So, really that's all I got to say for right now in this vlog, because I really want this to get up um, before I leave for work in a few hours. So, I love y'all. I'll hit y'all. Like I said, if I hear anything new about Yellowstone before the night's out, I will do another vlog for this evening. It, it'll be short. It'll just be an update on... Um, Yellowstone, Super Volcano. But if I don't hear anything else, that don't mean shit ain't happening. Okay? And, um, either or, it's MC Aggie St. James, motherfuckers. Google Aggie St. James, A G G I Saint, not the abbreviation, but the word, bitches. James. And you'll find just some of my music. I'm out, y'all. I love y'all. Peace!